Hello Nidorinars and Nidorinos, it is King Nido here and we are coming to you today from Stryton City where the Greens are at a type disadvantage against the Four Tree Tempest. But you have to think whoever wins out of these two sides will move themselves up into an Elite Four position. So a lot riding on this one. Let us know in the comments below who you think will win this matchup. Will it be the Grass Types? Will it be the Flying Types? Let's go! As I said, there are a lot riding on this game as the Grass Types are sitting in 6th place and the Flying Types are sitting in 8th. It will be Decidueye and Killer Watch will starting out for the 4 True Tempest, Electrode and Rillaboom who has that Grassy Surge ability starting out for the Striton Greens and immediately Decidueye is going to terrestrialize into that Flying Type form and it has been having a great showing the last number of rounds. It's going to want to look to repeat that again here today and it has that type advantage over its usual fellow grass types. So we'll see if it can bring it here today, but Electrode, one of the fastest Pokemon in the Poketype League, immediately sets up the Sticky Web, which really doesn't matter for the Fortree Tempest because they're flying well above it. Killer Watch, although, with the Encore, is going to fail. And Rillaboom going for its first move of the matchup immediately with the Shadow Ball onto its fellow starter Pokemon. Sidway, though, takes that hit really well and responds with the Court Change. There's not much of a court to change at the moment as both sides have that grassy terrain affecting both of them. And Electrode though, with the Perish Song this early in the game, this is a really risky play because it could take its own side out of it as well. But as that fling from Killer Watch will onto Rillaboom is going to do very minuscule damage. And Rillaboom, as a thank you, is going to eat that Leopard Berry. Now, both these sides have two victories this season as we get the Poison Gaz from Villaboom, it is going to leave Decidueye Poison, it's going to leave Killer Watch will Poison, so we'll be seeing both those Pokemon take continuous damage from that, but as a, we already know, that Perish Song will come down to zero very soon. Decidueye with the Confuse Rate onto Rillaboom, Rillaboom will be left confused. Now I did mention that Electrode is one of the fastest Pokemon in the Poketop League, it is actually tied with its fellow Cantonian Electrode, for being the quickest Pokemon in the Poketype League. They've got that 150 base speed. So they should be able to move quicker than pretty much any Pokemon we see come out onto the field, unless something were to slow them down. Like a Sticky Web, but really that's not going to affect the Fortry Tempest that was set up. Actually, I believe that was moved to the Striaton Greens. So I, I made a mistake earlier. It's now on the side of the Striaton Greens as that strength onto Electro does good damage. Rillaboom needs to shake off this confusion here. And it is able to. It's going to go for the shelter though. So it's only going to boost its defenses instead of going for an offensive move. It is trying to slow down the field of play clearly. As Decidueye going for the magic room. Now this will cause each Pokemon's held item to lose their effect. Every Pokemon in the Poketop League does hold on to the Leopard. As that grassy terrain doesn't actually help the Four Tree Tempest. Because they are flying above it. Whereas the Striating Greens being on the ground will be able to capitalize on it until it disappears. And there is that Perish Count falling to two for everyone. No one on this side has actually done much of anything yet, which is not very exciting to see, I have to say, as we get that Petal Dance continuing from Electrode onto Decidueye. That Spite does fail from Killer Watchel. And Rillaboom has snapped out of its confusion and is going to go for the role play here. So it's going to lose that Grassy Surge ability. It does have its hidden ability being on the home field side. Every Pokemon in the Poketop League, if you're on the home field advantage, you have your hidden ability, you have a regular ability if you are on the away side. As that grassy terrain restores a little bit of health for the grass types, that poisoning takes away some more health from the flying types. They're almost close to being eliminated here, but everybody's almost close to being eliminated here because that perish count falls to one. Every Pokemon on the field is going to be eliminated at the end of next turn unless they go back to the bench, which the Striking Greens should actually do because Electro continues this pedal dance and eliminates Killer Watcher, which is fantastic, but they need to get off the field. What are they doing? Electrode is going to be left confused due to the fatigue. It won't matter at the end of this turn, though, as Rillaboom is going to go for the Scratch, and that eliminates the Sidewire, which is fantastic. The Striker Greens have eliminated two of the Flying Types, but they're about to lose all of their hard effort because their Perish Count is going to fall to zero. Great for Electrode and Rillaboom to be restoring health from the grassy terrain, but here is that Perish Count falling to zero. Electrode is eliminated. Rillaboom is eliminated. This Perish Song has 
not help the Shriter Greens whatsoever. It has come back to bite them horribly as they were just up by two Pokemon. We have practically got a game reset with a 4v4 battle. It will be Miasca Rider coming out for the Striking Greens, Salamence for the Forgery Tempest, Toad Scroll also on the side of the Striking Greens, and Braviary for the Forgery Tempest. Miasca Rider does have its speed lowered and its attack lowered. Its speed lowered due to the Sticky Web. That Intimidate from Salamence lowering the attack stat of both Grass type Pokemon. That Sticky Web, as I said, lowering the speed of both grass type Pokemon and Salamence now with the substitute that substitute taking the place of it as Salamence does cut it into its own health to do so if we get a power gem from Braviary onto Miascarada does a little bit of damage there but Miascarada is going to respond with the Calm Mind so with that protein ability it is now going to become a psychic type Pokemon and there is that Calm Mind taking effect it's going to boost that special attack and the special defense of the now psychic type Pokemon and we get a headbutt from Toad School on the Braviary as a fissure is attempted by Salamence, but Miascarada was able to avoid that attack. Strength from Braviary on the Toad School. Great hit there by Braviary as the sheer cold from Miascarada is avoided by Salamence. Those two Pokemon trying for one hit KO removes on each other. And we get a Dragon Tail from Toad School on the Braviary. This is going to send Braviary back to the bench. Didn't do a great deal of damage and out in its place comes. Honchkrow onto the field, so we now know Honchkrow was meant to be the last Pokemon for the Four Tree Tempest, as that endeavor does fail, it will not affect Miascarada, and Miascarada with the Yawn onto Honchkrow, it will be falling asleep very soon, it should be able to get off a move first, and it does go for the Slack Off, so it tried to restore its health, but it's already at full strength here. And Toadstool with the Fire Spin onto the Substitute Doll, so we'll take that damage for Salamence. A Salamence with the jaw lock in response onto Toad Scroll. And Toad Scroll is eliminated with that massive hit from the pseudo legendary. Toad Scroll taken out. And the flying types have taken the lead as a glaive rush from the Ascarada onto the substitute. It would have been super effective onto Salamence. You have to think it actually would have eliminated Salamence, but now the substitute has faded, bringing Salamence back into its place. And a Metal Burst from Hunchcrow does fail. And Hunchcrow will now fall asleep due to that Yawn that was set up by Miascarada. We have a Bomber Snow now coming out for the Striking Greens. Being caught in that Sticky Web, but it has that part Ice type in it. Needs to capitalize on that type advantage over the Flying types. As the Fake Out from Salamence does fail. And Miascarada looking to respond with the Guard Swap. So it is going to focus in on Hunchcrow with that, changing it. It's defense and special defense, sorry, as Honchkrow is still fast asleep on the field after falling asleep at the end of last turn. Stuffed Cheeks now from a bon Snow eating its Leopard Berry. It's going to boost its defense a great deal here. It's only got that 75 base defense. It's got 92 across its attack and special attack stats. As that Growl will not affect a Snow, it's got that soundproof hidden ability, but Miascarada will have its attack lowered here. Miascarada, though, with the Heal Bell. That Bell does try, but it fails, unfortunately. And it doesn't even affect a Bomber Snow because of that soundproof ability. But again, it does fail. Honchkrow is still fast asleep on the field, having no impact in this match at the moment. As a Bomber Snow with the Sludge Bomb on the Salamence gets a good hit there. Salamence, though, looking to respond with the Aqua Jet. Not very effective on the Ice Grass type. Miascarada though, with the Throat Chop onto Honchkrow, not very effective, unfortunately. Honchkrow still fast asleep on the field. Salamence having to do all the legwork here, and a Bomber Snow with the Lumina Crash. It will not affect Honchkrow, because Psychic types do not affect Dark types, they have that immunity. Grass Pledge onto a Bomber Snow, not very effective there from Salamence. Miascarada though, responding with the double hit, continuing to go for Honchkrow, gets the first hit in. Gets the second hit in. It is not trying to go for those one-hit carry moves on Salamence anymore. Salamence, uh, sorry, Honchkrow though, has woken up. It goes for a Stuffed Cheeks of its own, so it proceeds to eat its own Leopard Berry to boost its defense here. And Bomber going with the Ceaseless Edge now onto Salamence. Salamence has become an easy target as those spikes fall onto the side of the Four Tree Tempest, but that doesn't matter because when they send out a Pokemon, it will be flying. Well above them, but a Moonlight from Salamence is going to restore its health. That is a fantastic play by the Dragon Flying type. As we get the Stun Spore from Miascarada, this is going to slow down Salamence with that 100 base speed. Mm. 
Now we have Honch Crow lowering that attack stat of Miascarada. Again, that soundproof ability made Abomasnow immune to it as another bell chimes and fails over the field. This time from Abomasnow as Miascarada now quicker than Salamance with the baby doll eyes. Usually it is quicker, but remember it landed in that sticky web when it first came onto the field. Mega punch from Honchkrow. Critical hit there onto a Bomber Snow as Salamence could finish it off here. Going with the Dark Pulse. And a Bomber Snow is eliminated. The four tree tempests are starting to bridge a massive gap here. As Floor just comes out and immediately lands in that sticky web. Also having its speed stat lower, but it is going to terastalize into the grass up and losing that fairy type. Though surely it will still want to go for a fairy type move, especially over Salamence. But that beautiful flower taking shape over the normally fairy type Pokemon. We get a power trip from Miascarada onto Honchkrow, which does practically no damage. Uh, Honchkrow is able to tank that and respond with the dual wing beat. Gets a great first hit and a really good second hit. You have to think it would have actually eliminated it if it was still a grass type Pokemon. Floor just though with the mud slap will not affect the flying type Pokemon. They are immune to ground type attacks. And Salamance now. With the Aromatic Mist, looking to help out Honchkrow here. It is going to boost Honchkrow's special defense. Salamence must know it is so close to being eliminated, but that first impression will fail from Miascarada. Only would have worked on its first turn. Honchkrow, though, with the Lash out. Now, on to Forges. A critical hit, and it almost gets the elimination as Forges responds with the Sticky Web, which will not matter. The Fly Types, again, will not land in those field conditions. Salamence with the Charm now. And that is going to lower the attack stat of Miascarada a great deal as Miascarada responds with the Hyper Beam. And Salamence is eliminated with that huge hit from Miascarada. Honchkrow though with the Thunder, but that is avoided by Miascarada and we know the Braviary will be coming back out on the field floor. Just needs to do something big. It goes for the Nasty Plot though. It did not go for the elimination instead of boost its own special attack. Braviary now back out on the field. These two flying type Pokemon are in control. And a Sleep Powder from Braviary won't affect floor. Just could not put it to sleep with the Sleep Powder. Miascarada has to recharge after that really impressive Hyper Beam. But the beat up onto floor just from Honchkrow gets the elimination. Miascarada is all by itself. This cat has to deal with three flying type Pokemon, but it is actually at a disadvantage as we get a time warning that sun comes back up onto the field, brightening the day. Braviary though, with the Dre Meter, which will not affect the awake Miascarada. Miascarada with an opportunity goes for the sheer cold again, but Braviary also avoids this attack, and Honchkrow with the tar shot onto Miascarada is going to slow it down. It's also going to make it weaker to fire type attacks. Braviary has the opportunity to finish it off here, and it goes for the Encore. They are leaving opportunities for Miascarada, but Honchkrow, now quicker than Miascarada, with the Whirlpool, gets the elimination, and the Four Tree Tempest, in very methodical fashion, have chipped away at the Shriaton Greens, but they have come away with the very impressive victory here today. And this will move them up into fourth place. They are in an elite four position. And next round, they will be facing the Opelucid Emperors. Whereas the Grass types have fallen down to ninth place. The next round, they will be taking on the whole on Heroes. I cannot wait for that one. But until then, Nidorinos, Nidorinos. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe. But more importantly, always remember, you are awesome. And I'll see you when you see me.